Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're going to be looking at converting the still SH86C from a blower into a leaf vacuum. So I've had this uh, petrol blower for probably, I don't know, about four or five months, used it all through the season. We've been cutting grass, we're blowing clippings back off the pathways onto the lawns, make them all neat and tidy and everywhere looks great. However, we're fast approaching autumn and the leaves are starting to drop. So we need to convert this from a blower into a leaf vacuum so we can get everywhere tidied up. Now, what you need for this is obviously the optional extra kit, which is the steel bag and the selection of pipes. We need the spark plug spanner and star key, which comes with it anyway, and the little screwdriver. I'm not sure if we need this, but I bought it anyway because it was in the pack when I purchased it. So first of all, we've got our tube on there. We need to take this off so it's no longer a blower. We get our star key or torque key and we push it into the top there. There's a small padlock on that little bit and that's where the lock is. So we push that down and we twist conventional way anti-clockwise and it undoes. Now, I don't know how easy this is to get out. It's been on there for, well, since the day we bought it. Right, that wasn't too bad. So that's that section off. We can put that out of the way, I think. I did have a quick look through the instructions. There are some good sort of pictures in there and stuff, but there's nothing like watching somebody do it in real time. So we'll put those to one side. I might refer back to them if I get stuck. Now, that's where the, we'll now um, blow out into the bag. So that's the other side of the engine. And then this side is where the, the things will get sucked into. Now, you can use this on different models. This is the SH86C. But on this one, you'll notice there's a metal impeller in there, serrated metal impeller. So when we're sucking up debris, bits and pieces, it'll all get locked into there, shifted round, cut up, and then blown out of there and into the bag. So it's vitally important that, they, that it does have the, uh, the metal impeller on, whichever model you have, it must have one of those in or it won't do a very good job. You end up clogging up your fan and breaking the whole machine. So now we've got that bit out of the way, we want to know how to attach the collection pipe to there. So let's turn it down. This is the collection pipe itself. Got a wider end on the bottom, that sits on the floor like that. So you can go along and vacuum up. This is the end that fits on to the machine itself and draws everything through. And we've got a handy carrying strap for the bag. Put this rubbish out of the way. Now to open this, I think we put the screwdriver down there and press in. So after a bit of jigging about, I've worked how to do it. Right, what we have to do is take our small screwdriver, I knew it would come in handy, and poke it in the side there. And that releases the orange cage, which comes off and gives you access to there. Now that snaps back shut. This is on here as a guard. So when we're blowing leaves, and not sucking them like we will be doing soon, but when we're blowing leaves with this, it draws the air in through here, round the engine and blows out. Now this guard stops any sort of bits and pieces and debris going through and getting blown out or things getting tangled up. So that's why it's in place. We'll put the screwdriver back in, press, I hope, he says. Yeah, and away it goes. So that's that open. Now we've opened that, and then we need the first piece to slot in. Now there's some arrows on here, and I'm thinking that we line the arrows up. There we go, that's the two arrows lined up. Now, need to get the locking mechanism in place as well. So, Certain round, it's not a great angle for viewing, is it? So we'll turn this round, slot on, 
turn round and it should lock in, although it's not going very well. I don't think I've pushed it in far enough. Let's do that again. Remember, make sure you push it in as far as it can go. That's it, mine wasn't in quite far enough. Now we can turn it round and we hear the click and the locking ring works, that's it. So that's all in place. Now, if you ever need to undo that, it's the same as we did on the other side. Use the torque key, push down on the tab and it'll release it. So that's the first bit on. Then secondly, we need the collection end. And there are three tabs on there and they slot in to here. I think these will take some moving around as well. It's not easy. There's two arrows on the back. They line up there and there if you can see them. And you push that down a little bit more. Oh, and that's it, a good positive lock on there. That's what we like to hear. So that's all in there and that won't move anywhere. That's safe and steady. Now there's the smallest pipe on the side. This pipe here fits on and we turn it round so we can hang the bag on. The end goes in there. So we've got the bag fitted securely. And it will suck up through there, round, blow out, through here and into the bag. And hopefully mulched up and collected and we've got a nice tidy job. Now we just need to fix this on. Again, there's some arrows on here. So there's an arrow there on this bit and an arrow on the top of the machine. So pull the collar down out of the way so we can see what we're doing. That's that. There's even a guide there for the lock. And that's just snapped in place. It's a bit quiet, but it's snapped in place. Now there's a bit of movement in there and that just allows the bag to pivot slightly when it's fixed on. Because it'll get quite heavy when we filled it up with leaves. So move these little bits and pieces over this side so we don't knock them off. Now fit in the bag. It's got a normal little locking tab on the top to move it through. And we open that up. And that fits nice and securely in there. Once it's in, we can tighten that up as tight as we can. It's self-locking, so when you tighten it up, it's all locked in place. Now that there, it won't move, and it'll stay exactly where you want it to be. However, we've still got a little bit of flex in there, so when it's getting heavy or you're moving around, it can move with you. And then last but not least, we'll put on the strap. Clip the one end in, clip the other end in. And there you go. We've converted it from a leaf blower into a leaf collector. Fantastic. So there you go, all done and dusted. Double handles, bag fitted, we're ready to go and collect some leaves. Easy as pie. I hope you enjoyed that video, the short tutorial on how to turn the blower into a leaf collector. If you've got anything nice to say, please put it in the comments section below. We've got loads of other videos, so please feel free to go and take a look. I'm Jimmy the Mower, I'll catch you on the next one.